a great event. Okay, we all know it can be so frustrating when you find furniture that you fall in love with, you buy it, then you get it to your house and it doesn't fit in the space where you wanted to put it. Sarah Locklear from Vero Fine Furniture wants to show you how you can make sure that never happens to you again by using just a few things you probably already have sitting around your house. When you walk into Vero Fine Furniture, there are so many unique pieces of furniture to see. But today, we are going to be redecorating a living room group. I have Sarah Locklear here with me. And Sarah, we've talked before. You go into a furniture store, you find something that you love, but you don't know if it's going to fit. Today, you have a solution. Make sure it fits before you get it home. Right, exactly. And you know, one thing is to make sure you measure. You have measurements. Mm -hmm. The next thing is we have this neat little tool here. It's called blue painter's tape. Uh-huh. And this little piece of tape here, you can take home with your measurements and map out your space. And you get a better visual of what that's going to look like. Oh, okay. You know, laid out like it's actually there. Absolutely. I see. Okay, so we have our handy-dandy notepad. We have blue painter's tape. We have our measuring tape. And as you just saw, there are so many sofas to choose from here at Barrows. But today, we have zeroed in on this sofa because this is the one we're going to use. Yes. So we need to get measurements. We're going to get our measurements. Okay. Okay. So first we're going to do is we're going to go across the back. All right. So we've got 76, 77 inches across the back. All right. 77. All right. The next thing you want to be sure to do is get the depth of your sofa because that's what's coming out from your wall space. And you got to make sure you're not going to have something too wide. Okay. We've got 38. Okay. What's next? And then we're going to do our chair. All right. Because some chairs are bigger than others, and you might decide, ah, once you map this chair out, it may be too big. Absolutely. Or you might see you could use a bigger chair. We're going to say 29 and a half. Okay. And then this one is 35 inches wide. Okay, so we've got right. those pieces ready. Now we're going to do our tables. I picked out some really pretty tables. Got to do the end table. And we're going to use this, this really one. Nice. Mm -hmm. Pull out trays. This one is 29 inches. Okay. And 19 inches. All right, and as we've mentioned before here at Barrow, you can mix and match any furniture pieces that you like. And today, instead of using this coffee table, we have another one that's going sure. to match this end table just perfectly. Perfect. And I selected one just down the way here. Okay. But I think it's a perfect fit. This one will be perfect, and we're going to measure this one across, just like the others. Okay. All right, 54 inches there. All right. And 28 across. All right, now what is our next step? We have all, all right. of our measurements. We have our measurements. We're going to go to our space, to the, okay. to the apartment, and we're going to measure, and we're going to lay out our painter's tape and see how that fits in our room. Sounds good. Let's go. So. We've got our measurements. Right. So you want to help me map it out with our measures? Let's see what we can do. Absolutely. Now you said that the couch is a little bit too big to go on that wall, so we're going to let that float out in this we're space. We're going to use it to float out here, and we'll probably put the chair floated in a corner, either on this side or this side, because this has got a cable outlet. Right. That's where the TV will probably need to go. Okay, so you're going to show us how to map it out? We're going to map it out. Let's do this. Okay. really does give you a good idea of how the furniture is going to look once it gets into the space. Right. It gives you a true perspective with your measurements mm -hmm. and you can really see how the furniture is going to consume your space. So right. a little bit of blue painter's tape, who knew? That's all it takes. If you remember, we picked out a sofa, which this is the outline of the sofa. Then we have the end table, we have the coffee table, and also the chair. And you know, that was one thing we said, it's always hard to tell if it's going to fit in your space. And it looks like the furniture that we picked out is definitely going to fit. That's right. And next week, we're going to bring the furniture in and see how we did. Okay, so definitely don't want to miss that. So next week we will be back at Charleston Apartments and check it all out. Now Sarah says you shouldn't feel silly taking a measuring tape into a furniture store. In fact, the sales associates at Barrows have measuring tapes on hand and they're going to be very happy to help you measure any piece of furniture you're interested in. You can visit any of their five locations in our area and you'll find those addresses on our website.